the next phase of Prosher Producer, I'm going to take this as step two, is going to talk more in detail on slide style and effects. Uh, if you watch, if you follow me from the introduction slide one of this uh, uh, tutorial, I'm sure that I did not have the, I did not introduce to you uh, some of the basic feature uh, that is available. So before I go into slide style and effect, I'm just gonna show you a few things. All right, one thing I really want to want you to take into consideration is every time you open this project, you always want to make sure that you save your project. All right, save the project, and we're gonna call this. Pro show Pro show tutorial two uh, slide style. Okay, we're just gonna leave it like that. Uh, always make sure you I want to save your project. Okay, the most important reason behind that is that sometimes this software crash, you know, because it consumes a lot of memory, a lot of RAM on your computer to process this, and there's some other programs that might be accessing the RAM, and in the process, the, it, the clashes, you know, and the program crash. You always want to make sure as long as you keep on clicking save at every stage as you progress, the project save so when it does crash and you re you go back to where you save your project you click on it which is this one for instance it let's say this crash and it's close all right once we go back to this project all you have to do is relaunch it again and it's gonna start from the very last place where you saved it boom there you go. All right. Always make sure you save your project. That is very, very important. All right. Uh, and also, the other things that you need to know. You know, you have new shows, new projects, uh, new empty shows. You can go through this on your own time. Uh, some of these features, uh, you we're going to get to them as we progress in using uh either the effects or the transitions are uh, about to publish uh, we, we're going to be using some of these different uh, features uh, that is available as you can see that uh, how you render the video you can produce it to youtube or to straight to facebook all right with that being said uh let's get back to the main topic for this particular tutorial which is a uh, uh Learn a little, a little bit more in detail on slide style. All right, what I'm gonna do is this is the project that we last created. Uh, I select on it and I click the space bar to play it. All right, uh, now. Each of this video on the timeline, uh, they do have time. The length of time that they are going to play is at the bottom. This is going to play for 3 minutes, 205 seconds. Same things with this at the bottom. 3.2 seconds. 3.2 seconds. 3.84 seconds. Well, when I said three two hundred and five seconds, that was incorrect. Three point two seconds, three point two seconds. You know, and in between is uh, is the is the transitions and also has the time. So if you have a, a, a video that you think it plays for too long, all right, maybe it stay too long. You can go in and adjust that video. If you want this to play for like two minutes, you. Put two minutes and click enter and space bar just like that so it doesn't waste your time this is supposed to play for three minutes if you want it to play for one minute you put one minute enter space bar 
there you go just like that it comes in and it goes out all right and we're gonna go to this in detail and also in with into the transition also in detail but as far as this tutorial let's go straight to slice style and in order for us to get to the slice style uh, let's select a particular video that we want to edit I'm gonna take Jasmine I right click copy and paste freshly on this screen I'm gonna take one more let's take this one right click copy and paste so we will not bother with this we're just gonna go ahead and edit this double click if we play it this is what we have and this is the template this is the window for slide options all right as you can see from the left hand side you have the slide setting you have the slide style all right you have the captions in order for you to add your test all right then you have the layers at the bottom the layers display the layer display uh, how many pictures you currently load for that particular effect to take place sometimes it could be one picture and depending on, in, on the effect you select the effect might multiply the picture by itself you know create like a duplicate copy as you can see right here and in, sometimes it's just gonna leave it blank and just make it dark uh, a blank copy all right now coming back to slide settings uh, once you click on slide settings there's a lot of things that you can adjust but I don't really want to mess with you know uh, because I don't mess with this a lot but once you come to slide style just doing the basic alright we have two pictures and and if you come to slash style uh, window right here at the bottom you see it has like aspect ratio 16.9 widescreen and layers right now it's displaying five layers and you don't want to be in five layers because we have two pictures all right and it shows you back drop light pan left that is the effect or the style that is using right now and you can find out in layer 2 if you don't see that in layer 2 is because it's using something completely different all right because it's just two pictures all right if we display let's see if we can display everything all right if you want to see all the all the all the effects just go ahead and select all any number of layers all right or you can select match slide that's not what you want but any number of layers backdrop light pan and these layers they are not in sequence all right they are not in sequence and the best way you can possibly select them to get in sequence is by changing layers uh, because we have two pictures in this situation we're just gonna go to two layers all right now this is everything as you can see the aspect ratio from here is two all right these are all the effects that you can apply to two pictures all right do you know why it's showing blank in one first of all let's go to no style apply okay as you can see we only have one picture that's why it was showing blank and if you want to see all the effect that has to do with one picture click on one and these are all the different effect that goes with one picture All right, we want to see how that play out. 
That was the volume I was trying to turn up. All right, so you can scroll through. Uh, that's the aperture one. You can scroll through this to see what you like and what serve your needs. You know, dream revolution. This is actually one of my best one. This particular one right here. This I love this one. <laughs> it has always been one of the very best one I use. I use it a lot. And this also mirror. I know I know you're not here to watch me uh trying to mesmerize and what I like and what I don't like. Uh but I'm trying to show you all the different effect that actually comes with this that you can use and this is very cool so in this situation uh i'm gonna click once you find something you like just click apply all right and click ok and it go be bad and always go to save just click on save so it save your project all right and right now since we're on jasmine just click space bar to play it if you play like it it goes too fast you want to slow it down like i said earlier you can always change the time let's change this to like four four seconds oh my Four seconds. Okay, space bar. If it plays too fast, also change it more. I'm going to just go ahead and put 10 seconds there. And play it. Uh, that's a little too slow, but it's cute. that's hot it's too slow but it's nice so uh, and now uh, one other thing I want to show you I'm gonna copy the same video copy and paste because I want to do more effect uh, using the same picture uh, and I'm gonna double click to open it uh and what i want to do right here i want to take out all the effects and just scroll all the way to the top with no style and click apply it's gonna take out all the effect on the left hand side that you're looking at and right now we have one picture now let's say you scroll through everything and you don't see what you like all right and you want to go to layer two if you go to layer 2, it's going to display a completely different layer for you. Let's say, okay, you click on the first one, as you can see. It's going to show one picture and the other one is blank. Because that layer is designed for at least a minimum. It requires a minimum of two pictures. All right. So what you can do, you can just, you don't have to close this. You can go to wherever you save your comp your pictures. And like in my situation, it's in my document. Uh, here and WordPress and I'm gonna take this lady I'm gonna take it take a, a left click hold on my mouse key and drop all right uh, I'm gonna select more pictures as a matter of fact just to be on the safe side in case I don't find anything I want in layer 2 so we're gonna go back to slice style at the top and we're gonna look for because right now we're playing with two layers put more effects alright 
So right now it's playing with the pictures from the top, the first one and the second one, as you can see. If you like that, all you have to do is click apply effect. If you don't like it, just click on another style that you might like. In this situation, it utilized the entire three pictures. As you see, it used the one at the bottom for the background. Sometimes it depends on the on the effect that you're using. Even though it's two layers, uh, it two layers require two pictures. All right. If you take the top pictures out, it's just gonna make that background black, plain black. All right. Because this picture is there, if I take it out, like right click and remove picture. Remove from layer. Alright, at this time it's going to remove this. And as you can see, the background is blank. You see, it's blank. And, and to... To be honest with you, if you want to make your video really pop, sometimes uh, the the third one right here you can make it a video. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and look for a video and drag a video in there. So I drag a video and drop it in there. You know how it, I did that, right? You select, left click, hold down your mouse key, drag it, drag, and come down and open your drag and drop. That's what I did. It's loading, that's why it looks all messed up right now. You cannot freeze. This is a tutorial time. <laughs> okay, it says close. My goodness. Okay, let's just. Uh, I'm gonna pause this video. All right, I'm gonna pause it. Resume. Already. Uh, Okay, that is the video. Uh, as a matter of fact, I was, let me just go ahead and space bar. We already added a video to the background. Uh, we did not create the effect. Double click. All right. As you can see, we have two pictures at the top and one video at the background. So we're going to go to slide style. It might be a little slow. Slide style. And we're going to go to... As you can see at the background, there was a video there, so that's that's pretty nice. All right, you can select all the different effects that you want. I'm sure you you you, you get the logic, you get the idea. So I don't have to go over this over and over again. So and once you find something that you like, just go ahead and click on apply style. If you don't find what you like, just move on to slide three. All right. And slide three, the video will no longer be the background is just gonna become one of the effect. If you don't find what you like, move on to slide four. And in slide four, so so we we go back to slide two and just and just give it a shot and click apply style apply boom oh, no.
uh, just to make a quick correction I don't know maybe at the beginning of this tutorial I possibly made it uh, um, an error like the this stuff at the bottom right here they are not in minutes it's not two minutes it's in seconds two seconds uh, this is 2.8 seconds it's not two minutes 88 seconds this is 3.8 seconds this is 15 seconds uh, 0.25 seconds so uh, I'm not too sure if I said to you that there were minutes uh, just to make the correction right there real quick uh, I'm gonna remove this I don't know what it is but it's consider it removed remove caption removed Come on, let's go. I don't have all this for you. Delete. Select this slide. All right. All right. So this is it. Uh, let's open this one more time. There might be one or two things to mention. To mention. All right. So we went on the. On the slide star all right in slide settings all right i'd also told you to keep in mind that at the bottom of the slide star there's caption you know to add your test to the page and uh, basically this is it for this tutorial you know if we click on it and boom spacebar this is what we have so far I want to see that video though. I want to see how it's. I know it's gonna take a second. I love this style. There you go. Eventually, it came up. Outstanding. Outstanding. I'm so impressed. So proud of myself. Come on, let's go, buddy. All right. How many pictures do we use here? One picture. I got you. All right. Uh, this concludes this tutorial. I hope you learned something for using a slash style. And yeah, the next lesson is still busy. Uh, I don't know yet what it's gonna be about. Either transitions, uh, uh, talk more time on on the time. But check out tutorial part three for this class. All right. I hope you learned something. Have a good day, nice evening, nice whatever it is. You know.